Okay, so we're in the control room of uh, the simulation suite here at South End, and we can set up the simulation suite to uh, mimic any sort of environment uh, within the clinical situation. So at the moment, we've got it set up for a ward based environment, and we can run scenarios for any groups of different uh, people, uh, clinical staff, um, to manage our patients. So we uh, are able to set up um, scenarios of a uh, clinical situation that people may not, staff may not have had uh, previous experience to that are rare occurrences and they can practice those in a safe uh, environment without actually causing any problem with uh, patients at all um, or we can set up um, scenarios where we get teams to work together and that's really important because quite often uh, we know that that is where communication breaks down so if we've got a patient that's unwell and we've got lots of different teams from different specialties or different disciplines um, then we can get them to come and work together and we can see how we can function better as a team. All those things really impact on patient safety. So here in the control room, I'm able to manipulate any uh, aspect of the patient, uh, the mannequin or the patient, and the environment um, to help the scenario run smoothly, just like it would do in, as normal in clinical practice. So on this computer here, I'm able to change the parameters such as the heart rate, respiratory rate, oxygen saturation and make the patient get better if they do the right treatment or if they're not doing the treatment that's required then the patient will deteriorate um, and they will have to manage that um, as they see fit just like in normal clinical practice. I'm also able to talk on behalf of the patient so if they ask me how I'm feeling I'm able to say oh, I've got pain, I'm not feeling very well, I'm having difficulty with my breathing, whatever uh, is the situation and being able to talk back in real time and just as a patient would do makes it really uh, realistic for the delegates in the um, scenario. Um, I'm also able to talk to one of what we call our plant or our actor within the scenario. So we'll have someone that's there to help the uh, delegate get all the um, consumables, all the things like oxygen masks, monitoring in place. And if they need to be uh, prompted in any situation, um, such as I need to draw the uh, blood pressure to the attention of the delegate, then I can talk to the person in there discreetly through an earphone um, and they'll be able to um, make uh, the delegate aware. And all this makes the scenario run really smoothly. It makes it seem like it's real practice, clinical practice, and that makes it real for the uh, delegate that's in the uh, simulation suite. Oh, now we have a simulation suite of our own at Southend, um, which I believe is one of the best in the region and most advanced in the region. Um, and we should be really proud of having this over here. It's an incredible opportunity for us to enhance the professional development and to also use it for staff recruitment and staff retention. It provides us with an endless potential of uh, recreating situations and scenarios uh, for, um, to train and improve the patient safety and quality uh, in our hospital. And it can be used by any department, any staff member in our hospital um, to, to simulate a situation from, let's say, a &E or a, a ward-based scenario or a critical care scenario. Um, and we can even develop it further to include the other areas in the hospital as well.